Right, I'm on the little road, and just a couple yards away, there's another road. You remember now, it's a forked road. Um, one goes to over a stowy, I think one to another stowy, or something like that. And up here, you've got the famous green. People want to drop. I've already had three cars go by at speed. Honestly, can't believe it really. How they drive through here. We're coming up to like a type of green area now. A meeting place. I think there's a board there. Um, some information. A lot of mountain bikers come here and it's a meeting place for people as well. I can see, I, I heard a horse a minute ago, a horse with a f foal. Yeah, Crowcombe is one and something miles, Overstowey, Netherstowey, Holford and Doddington. Or, Do no, Donnington. There's a car coming up. There's a car coming. Yeah, there used to be a board here. There used to be a board. Oh yeah, dead woman's ditch. That's right. And there's a board over here, I believe. Oh, get him rubbing his back on that car. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're for, cars, aren't they? To do that too. Hello, Mum. Cool, you've grown since I saw you last. Yeah, you're big. Yeah, you've all got bigger, haven't you? <laughs> Well, actually, he might, he might steal the car, wouldn't he? Mums and their foals. It's alright, I'm not going to hurt you, anybody. This is, um, they've all grown up quite a bit now. The, uh, the foals and that. They'll soon tell you if they don't want you. They shake their head at you. If they don't want you messing about. I thought there used to be a plaque here at one time. But anyway, that's um we stop people parking in the middle there to save the green. God, look how big you've got. Look at your long legs, hmm? Yeah. You look like you're about to give birth. Are you having a are you having a baby soon? You look like it. Hmm? You still got one here. They should drive slowly through here, shouldn't they? Because they horses. I'm going to carry on walking this way. When the ferns aren't, when the ferns aren't quite as high, you can actually walk all on that 
sort of area you can sort of see see where you're going in that and I know I can walk that way but I don't want to yet so what I'm doing is staying upright for a minute till I get up to the top of there to the um, other parking area and somewhere up here somebody told me the other day for the first time they didn't know it existed up here a massive <coughs> apparently a really massive massive horned Highlander bull grey and black up this way or a bit further over at Triscum they said they were out for a walk one night and they came face to face with it they said they nearly died but apparently they are they're not aggressive usually um, and they managed to get past it because they did have a dog with them I've never known I've never known a bull up here either so it's handy to know though isn't it so because I'm wary of cows anyway people that know me know I've been chased I've had to get over barbed wire fencing and things like that how fast that was going, that was a Porsche he was going fast down there where those ponies are, not far away oh there's another car coming, I'll be getting off here in a minute I just had to wait for the the heather and the gorse to calm down a bit yeah right over there there's Avenue Trees. That's the Triscum Avenue. <coughs> that leads to Crocombe that I've done. A big avenue of trees, old trees, old beech trees, I think they are. Um, and there's two lots of avenues. There's that lot, and then you've got the West Bagra. <sighs> it's a lovely walk. I've done all that this year. All I'm doing now is trying to keep off the road a bit without getting stuck in the heather. Um, I probably just missed a track, I spat, don't you? I might have done. I don't want to get stuck, you know. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while, folks. Take some more photos. Over and out for a minute. Right, there's Dowsborough Hill Fort that I was on walking through, climbed up so far and then walked through it and came out over there somewhere where the road goes. That was only about half an hour ago, I was round about there. Dowsborough Hill Fort everyone. Like a big pancake on the top isn't it? But it's not, that's the tops of the trees. Here we've got a, they've done a lot of um, prevention of cars going all over the turf here look they've got designated parking spaces now of course all over there we've got um, where I'll be walking later oh yeah yeah I'll be later walking out there Over there, that's the higher hair nap over there, look. That bit there, that's higher hair nap. There's the hill fort again. All the way around. And there's um great wood over there.
I'm trying to find a path that will take me down over there, actually. Not up there. But, uh, I don't know, I can't see one that's going there directly. It's a nice view though, isn't it? Right, turning it off again for a moment. Carrying on the walk, folks. I've come off the, I've come down. I didn't really want to go straight over that way. I know, I know all that. I want to come down to towards Crocom Gate and another little parking area it's near the um, trick point of North Hill. I want to go that way. I know which way I want to go. I'm going to be sweeping over that side. So, um, got all day, there's no panic. There's no think, oh god, you've got to get quickly, you've got to get the number 28. Oh god, you can miss a train. No. I've even brought a flask of hot water and left it in the car so I can have a nice cup of Earl Grey. I have got milk, I've got those little pouches, or I might not have any, I might have brought them in. But I, I normally keep them in there so I can have a cup of tea. But what I keep forgetting to do, unless I have put it in there, yeah, you have. You have put the proper cup, you've put a proper metal cup in there, yeah. I can actually have a proper cup of tea when I get back, see. Uh, but I didn't really bring anything substantial to it. I've just brought um, stuff to keep me going, really. Um, you know, just stuff to keep me going. Nibblies, I've got to, I've had a bar of chocolate. That's the, the only thing I've had. I just had to eat it because it would have melted. Galaxy, bit of glucose. I've drunk about half a bottle of water. I've still got another whole bottle left and two fruit juices, small ones, and two whole orange, well, not oranges, sort of tangerine, not, yeah, sort of tangerine type fruit. Um, that will help as well. I've got enough, I know I've got enough and I've got plenty of water in the car when I get back for topping up if I want to. I mean, it's not it's not 30 degrees or anything like that. It could be 22 or 23. It might be a bit more when it gets trapped in certain areas. The odd um, toadstool or mushroom coming up. Look, I don't know if they're, any of them are safe to eat or anything. I wouldn't touch them. Lots of people picnic here, people walking through. Um, like I said, the big hill I've done, there will be a couple of undulations and, until I get to um, Bitcanola Post, where I'll either go down through the valley, through the Coombe of Holford, which I did the other week, or I might do Lady's Edge. I haven't decided yet. There's no panic. Oh, I've got two pieces of cheese as well. That can go with my crisps. I know it's unhealthy, some people say, but I'm sorry. I like my nibblies. Naughty but nice, as they say. I mean, I haven't got a big... I'm not eating fatty foods as such. I know there's fat in everything, in there, and sugar. You can't escape it, really. Now what I've got on, say it suddenly did get really hot, I've got a very light top and uh, I can swap it with this thicker t-shirt. If I got really hot I can just swap the t-shirts over and the other one is very very light and airy. But I don't think it's going to be that sort of day. But ask me again in three hours time, I might have swapped. Right, let's turn off again now. This is the avenue of trees I was talking about over there. They go from Crocom Gate to Triscum. And uh, we've only got to go a little bit further. We'll be down near Crocom Gate in a minute. 
then what I'm doing, I'm going to go, I'm going over that way, right over, right round. A minute ago, I was up near where those cars are up there. But I've been keeping off the road, um, which is nice. I don't mind the road when it was dangerous. They all drive so fast and all cross along the road. And there could be little foals and stuff. They use it as a rat run. And these are posh cars I'm talking about. Mercedes and Porsches that are doing it. Not boy racers. They use it as a quick way over. Now, if... I mean, I've never done this before and I've been out in the middle of nowhere, by the way. I do over Sam Bay. I've got to know the ice cream man over the years. So. It's the only treat. I don't keep ice cream at home. I don't eat things like that at home. So basically, if there is, just say there is an ice cream van in a minute. I might get one. A tub of ice cream. I might do. But I'll, it's probably here at weekends more. When the families are here. I mean, we're coming up to the end of the summer holidays for families now. Um, all the kids go back to school, I think. Um, it, might, it might be next week. Right then, I'm going to turn off again. This is Sheila on the Quantock Hills, near what's called Crocombe Gate, which is over there. And it's a, the lovely village of Crocombe, which I've explored. I've done the church there. I used to get the bus from there, or got, or got get dropped off from, by the bus there. My ways, my way, it's good to have Plan B. And know where you can get public transport if you need it. And where campsites are. I haven't done much camping this year. I didn't get... Uh, the weather was awful in flipping April, May and June, to be quite honest. I've got it. What I'm going to do... Um, a neighbour of mine, he's got this really good mat that he he uses when he's camping. It's a really thick, foamy thing. I mean, you can't carry it when, if you're walking, but it's handy to have. And um, I'm, I'm going to get one of those. I don't know where he got his from. Um, it could be that it's a... Uh, let me just check the path. It could be that it's um, from Army and Navy stores or somewhere like that. That's what I'm going to get. I'm getting one of those, what he's got. Because he said, you definitely don't feel your skeleton on the floor with that. Now, I did get an airbed, but I was bouncing around on it. It was like being at sea. I either put too much air in it, or it just didn't work. I've had good airbeds before. That was terrible. It really was awful. So my camping this year wasn't what I call brilliant from that point of view, actually. I couldn't get comfortable. But you sleep out of exhaustion in the end, don't you? Now, people will gather like ants around a sugar pot, won't they? If there's an ice cream van. I've never used it. I've seen it. I thought, God, it won't be long before they have a hot dog van out here and chips. <laughs> right, turning off now. If there is one, I'll take a picture of it. But I don't, I'm not worried if there ain't one today. I'm not bothered. I think it's probably here at weekends, mainly. I'm going to go. I don't know if that is an ice cream van. Yes, folks, there is. Look, let me just zoom in. Wait a minute. Where is it? It's somewhere over there, right in front of me. Oh, it's over there anyway. I can't see. This is useless this camera, you know. Is it? Yeah. Right, it's just...